Several same-sex couples in El Paso County officially picked up their marriage licenses today. And that is tonight's top story. Today, Colorado Attorney General John Southers gave Colorado clerks the go-ahead to start issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Gay marriage became legal in Colorado just yesterday after the Supreme Court declined to hear appeals from five states seeking to ban same-sex marriage. The gay community is calling this a time for celebration, but not everyone is happy with the outcome. Fox 21's Aisha Morales joins us with both sides. Aisha. Hey, Lauren, on the opposing side are some religious institutions like Focus on the Family, for example, which is based in Colorado Springs. It looks at this ruling as a, quote, spread of same-sex marriage and the spread of religious persecution. Focus on the Family says the legal outcome for same-sex couples in Colorado doesn't affect what it believes in. It's always about the needs of adults in those cases, and children are never mentioned. Ch marriage is for the children. Children deserve both a mom and a dad, and a same-sex marriage simply denies children either a mom or a dad. It's also calling it a threat to religious freedom. In terms of government coming down hard on Christian businesses, uh, business people, um, perhaps even churches in the future. So we're very disappointed in that. For couples like Craig and Bill, this ruling means so much more than the controversy. It's not exactly the changing of any specific belief or about conservatism. It's the fact that love is love and that's what it just needs to be. Craig and Bill were going to sign into a civil union. And then all of a sudden the news came down and we started panicking. Turns out they've been planning a wedding for this week anyway, so the green light for same-sex licenses came just in time. I am in a relationship with a great human being and that's what I need to know. The couple agrees the marriage license may bring them closer together legally, but nothing has changed. I guess you could say the government, in translation, the people would recognize uh, our love for one another, um, and that meant something to me. Craig and Bill will have their wedding ceremony tomorrow in Colorado Springs alongside friends and family. As for focus on the family, again, its main concern is for those close to the religious freedom. Lauren. Thanks, Aisha. And for more coverage on the same-sex marriage, including a story about conservative Colorado Springs being an unlikely place for gay marriage, go to our website. That's fox21news.com.